So Marjorie Taylor Greene is a congressional candidate in a safe Republican district. This person is someone who believes in the QAnon conspiracies. And I'm sorry if my posture is a little bad. I'm kind of like laying down. I didn't have my coffee today, right? I'm kind of lounging, so bear with me. Um, but she believes in QAnon, and she is a QAnon fundamentalist, if you can believe that. She is a QAnon fundamentalist. And so there was these protests, right, that I mentioned before, and people were throwing things at residential uh, buildings. And so this congressional candidate decided to take a clip from that and try to, I don't, for whatever reason, hop on the VP debate hashtag. I don't know. Um, but uh, this was also like I, after the debate ended. So I don't know. I guess they were just doing that for like attention. Oh, maybe someone's going to go on the VP debate hashtag and see the rioters and looters, right? I think that's what this was. But either way, um, you can see video of people going through to residential areas, throwing shit through windows. Now, again, that's problematic. I'm less concerned with private property. Like, like if it's a local family owned business, that's one thing. I think that's that you should know what you're doing. Throwing bricks senselessly. I think that's a bad idea. Throwing rocks senselessly. I think that's a bad idea. Strategically, these tactics can be useful. But when you're throwing them through windows, they get weaponized by right-wing crazy people. This is all over 4chan. This is all over 8chan. This is all over all these countries, or all, all over all these websites, my bad. Um, and this is something you've really got to worry about. And again, optics are not my main concern, and I want to be clear with this one. Um, optics are not my main concern. I, my main concern is building community bonds. My main concern is making so, sure that when people go to these protests, they make friendships and relationships that last the rest of their lifetime. They make connections with people that live in their neighborhoods that last the rest of their lifetime. These, these protests are more and should be more about community solidarity than they are about um, protesting any particular thing from the government. Now, that's not to say, obviously, that I'm trying to dictate what protesters should do or what they should protest about. Not at all, right? The protest against the government, you should be doing that. Right. But like it's a second order thing. Right. The first order should be when you go to these events, when you go to these protests, when you go to these demonstrations, talk to as many people as you can. Get as many phone numbers as you can. Right. Make as many friends as you can, because these are moments. Right. That are fledgling moments in time. Right. There could be right a, a situation where these protests and this mass movement dies off, whether it be because of reform, whether it be because of oppression from the state. That is a total thing that's possible. And so the thing that will last from these movements is you're going to be able to say 40 years from now, oh, yeah, I met, you know, I met Joey at one of these protests. You know, I met Christine at a protest, you know, back in 2020 during the battle against uh, police, you know, during the movement for black lives. I met fucking Anthony at a protest, you know, and that's going to be like, that's the origin story that you're going to look for here. And that's going to be how we actually make proper actual change in this country is by building that class strength, unionizing, mobilizing, strategizing. And again, I don't really give a shit what you do, right? I'm not going to be there to worry about that. But again, going at people's houses, not a good thing. Definitely not good optics, not good at all. Um, and again, it's being weaponized by QAnon crazy people. And you got to know that. And again, they're going to weaponize it regardless. You think Marjorie hasn't been on the rioter and looter train for the last six months? You bet your fucking bitch ass that she's been on the rioter and looter train for the last six months. She loves this stuff. She eats, sleeps, and breathes talking about how evil black people are. Because that's the way of the QAnon cult. That's the way that they get their message out, right? So I'm not like, they're going to they're gonna slander. They're going to libel. They're going to shit talk regardless of what happens and that needs to be underscored however again at the same time you want to make sure that your priorities are in check and you want to make sure that your class solidarity is in check right if someone right is living in their house and like they support your movement but that you throw a brick through the window they're going to be less likely to support your movement right and yes you can say it was an outside agitator it might have been it might have been an opportunist it might have been this and that and that right but again, we're all about building class strength here, and we got to focus on that first and foremost. That is the number one goal, is making friends and building strength. Mutual aid networks, right? 
for the most part, I'm in the media game. That's what I do, right? Like, I'm a loser. I've got a podcast, right? That That's my game. So, yeah, I'm going to talk about these QAnon people, right? That's what I do here. You got to know what they're doing in some capacity, right? But if you're in a protest, don't worry about, oh, what what are the QAnoners going to say about this? Don't worry about that. That's That's second order. First order is to make sure that the people that are on your side, the people that you care about, right, also care about you and care about each other. That is the first and foremost goal of any protest is building community strength, solidarity, mobilize, unionize, strategize, right? But again, Q and honors, this person is going to be in Congress, right? You have to understand, if you don't know who Marjorie Taylor Greene is yet, this bitch is going to be in Congress, right? This is like the right wing AOC kind of phenomenon, right? Remember when AOC was elected and everyone started freaking out and she became like a superstar and has tens of millions of followers, right? Marjorie Taylor Greene is going to be like that for the right wing, going to be like that for the QAnon. If Trump is gone and, right, like who knows if that's possible. If Trump is gone, Marjorie Taylor Greene is his legacy. And this is going to be someone you want to at least pay a little passing attention to. Um, but yeah, that's my show for today. Hopefully y'all enjoyed.